Hey everyone, this is Alex and it's coming up to the end of the year here in Korea. It's been a great year for me. So I thought I'd make a video about how you can get a job teaching English in Korea next year in 2015 and what the best route to go about doing this is and what I would suggest that you do to find a job teaching here. Walking out of my lovely little building there, Winkabil. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi. Say hello to the camera. Much is so I'm here now at this pond, which is really beautiful, where I thought I'd shoot a little bit of a video showing you how you should get started teaching English in Korea next year. 2015 because it's coming up to the end of the year and what's great about 2015 when it comes to teaching English in Korea. Okay so there are two main options that I'd recommend and which one you choose depends on your particular situation and there's also the option of doing both which can be a good option too. Okay so the first one is going through the EPIC program which I've talked about a bit before and this is a great option and although there have been some budget cuts and there are a lot of people trying to get into the program and it is very competitive, I would still recommend applying for it and getting a job with Epic if you can because they're a great program and you're gonna be well looked after if you do it. So Epic takes people in in March and in August in 2015. However, the March intake is already completed, that whole application process is finished and people are uh, already being placed now so you can't go for that so it's only the august option that you have left now if you go for august you need to start sending in documents and applying from march in 2015. so from march you want to send in your initial application and letters of recommendation and then the process carries on over that period so it is a long involved process and if you aren't willing to spend like the six months it takes to get into the program, then I'd say don't take this route. And also if you want to come over at a certain time that is in August, then also, you know, don't go for this option. However, if that timeline works for you, then you can go ahead and do that. And if you do get into the program, it'll be like a great option. So definitely consider that. The second option then is going with Hagwon's private academies or even direct placements into schools. And the advantage of this is that you can go at any time throughout the year when positions open up. And they do open up throughout the year, so there's plenty of opportunities to come over. There are also a couple of other advantages with this option. Some of them being that, one, you can choose your location, which this can be a really big one for some people, because if you apply for EPIC, then you go through this whole six month process and you can put down your preference for where you want to be, but you only find out where you're going to be after you've sent in your documents, signed the contract. So you really don't have much choice. You're going to be put where they want to put you. And you might get lucky enough to get into a prime location like Busan or Seoul. Seoul, you actually have to go through a whole separate application process because it's so in demand. Uh, and if you are lucky enough to do that and get in, that's great. But if you don't, then you're going to be put somewhere else where you don't want to be. But if you get a private academy job, then you can go ahead and choose your location and be very specific about what you want. The other things that you get out of it is also that there will be other foreign teachers typically at the school you're at. Whereas with public schools, this is not very common at all. You typically be the only one at the school. And you can also choose your grades that you want to teach. 
because now EPIC is only taking elementary school teachers. So you'll only be able to teach elementary and if you wanted to teach middle or high school, then you should definitely go for a private academy. So how do you go ahead and get one of these private academy jobs? Because the EPIC process is very straightforward. You send in your documents, you, you know, it takes a long time, but it is very set in the way you do it. However, with private academy jobs, you have to go out and find them yourself. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. What I recommend you do is contact multiple recruiters, and I made a video about this, about why this is a really good thing to do. So contact lots of recruiters, get them looking for jobs for you, search job boards, send your resume out, look on Facebook groups, and you really have to hustle your way into finding a good job. You have to go ahead and try as many avenues as possible. But if you do this and you do it well, then you can go ahead and find a good job in a private school academy. If you do want some help with that kind of stuff, give me a shout because I've been helping people find jobs for a while now. And it is a kind of complicated process, so it can be good to get some guidance with that. So you can go ahead and go with Epic if that sounds like a good option to you, or go with private academies if that sounds better and it suits your time and location needs better. Or just go ahead and apply for both. Get your application into Epic and then also look into job options with private academies. So hopefully this video is helpful and you'll be able to come over to Korea in 2015 and have an awesome time here. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. Uh, it's a great country and there are amazing options when you want to come over and, and teach here. So yeah, good luck with the process. Subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers.